All right, let's say 28, 29, 30. After your 30, look up, take a breather. Across the country, a renewed appreciation for CPR, the emergency procedure that saved Buffalo Bill's safety to Mar Hamlin's life. When somebody goes into cardiac arrest, meaning their heart isn't flowing the blood around their body, so oxygen isn't getting to the organs, particularly the brain, the liver, the lungs. They end up increasing their chances of dying every second that's out there. So getting CPR on very quickly, getting that blood circulating around the body through CPR is extremely important. Following Hamlin's near-death experience, doctors are calling on ordinary Americans to learn CPR and people are listening. So I'm a really big Bengals fan and I was watching the Monday night game and watching DeMar Hamlin go down and get injured. Uh, just reminded me that I need to go refresh my CPR skills. And giving breaths, the chest should begin to rise. So I signed up for a CPR class myself. Remember we want to go at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute, right? And after only two hours, I'm now CPR certified. Woo! <laughs> uh, it's a workout, right? Yeah, you're ready. Clearing the way for me to step up in an emergency situation. We always like to say we always rather be preventative, right? We always just want to be prepared for these things, right? We're not always looking at it like, oh, maybe today is the day or maybe tomorrow is the day. But at the end of the day, we just always want to be ready. A 2018 national survey by the Cleveland Clinic found that 54% of people in the U.S. said they knew how to do CPR but only 17% said they knew chest compressions alone were effective and 11% knew the correct pace. Two sticking points made during the certification class and that knowledge could be the difference between life or death. It's gonna happen at the grocery store, it's gonna happen in the office, it's gonna happen out on the street. And so everyone understanding that they don't necessarily have to have that full lesson of CPR, they just need to understand to start pushing on the chest that 100, 120 beats a minute. Call 911 and save a life. Maya Eaglin, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.